don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Advertise with Sahara Football. Call us now. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a fine morning here. We're going to talk more football. As usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawe, and I welcome you back to the channel. So, today I'm going to talk to you about Ghana Black Stars. We all know they are preparing to face Kenya in and Mauritania in Afghan final qualifier game and also in a friendly game with Mauritania. The Black Stars coach and the sports minister, deputy sports minister, that is, were at the Accra Sports Stadium inspecting the pitch. I'll bring you more details on that. Also, Kevin Prince Boateng will go back to Sassuolo. I think it has been settled now. Kevin Prince Boateng, it's time at FC Barcelona did not bear any fruits that both teams would like to continue their relationship and it's it's now said to think that Kevin Prince Boateng will go back to Sassuolo and also I'm going to talk to you about Maumo Kingsley Safo if you remember Kingsley Safo I'm going to talk to you about him the player Swedish who was playing in Sweden and was sentenced to jail time for rape accused of rape and all that his clubs are fighting over the transfer money and it's, it's quite a tussle there for him and that, that was all, that's what I'm going to talk to you about uh, to you today about as usual if you're new to the channel I advise you to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so let me just jump right into it we all know earlier on this year um, January Kevin Prince Boateng made a historic move to FC Barcelona from Sassuolo it was a loan move six month loan move with an option to buy if they were impressed with him unfortunately for kevin prince boating he has failed and struggled to get into the barcelona team in the first place last yesterday i think he was in wednesday he was included in the barcelona squad for the leon clash but did not take part in that end he has been struggling for playing time he has featured in only two games in total for fc barcelona and it's written on the wall if this isn't proof enough this is Clear, it's quite clear that Barcelona are not interested in keeping Kevin Prince Boateng so it has been confirmed more or less that Kevin Prince Boateng will move back to Sassuolo so the story says Kevin Prince Boateng is set for Sassuolo return now Ghana and Barcelona midfielder Kevin Prince Boateng is set to return to Sassuolo at the end of this of his loan deal with FC Barcelona according to reports and has a contract with the Italian club which runs till 2020 the 32 year old joined Barcelona in January but has only made two appearances for the Spanish Giants in all competitions. Boateng has not been picked by Valverde in the Barca's last three games in the La Liga but was surprisingly named in the Champions League against Lyon on Wednesday. According to Gazeta de Modena, Boateng's contract is unlikely to be extended and he will return to the Italian club in the summer when the loan deal expires. So. Kevin Prince Boateng will go back to Sassuolo. It's quite sad. I was expecting many great things from this, this move to Barcelona. I was really stoked about it. I, I expected a lot actually. I, I thought it would be fruitful, but unfortunately it wasn't. And he's going back to his mother club as um, Sassuolo. And I think Sassuolo will need him, will use him better. His stint at FC Barcelona did not bear fruit. He was supposed to be a backup to Suarez he's not doing that efficiently let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments box what do you think about this news of Kevin Prince Boateng going back to Sassuolo after his lone move with FC Barcelona did not bear fruit as we expected it to let me know your thoughts in the comments box I move on to my next story we all know on the 23rd of March the Ghana Black Stars will face Kenya and the Black Meteors as well will face Gabon in the AFCON under 23 qualifier game. Now, the Black Stars coach, Kwesia Pia, in respect of that, was going to inspect the pitch ahead of the game with Kenya on Saturday and Mauritania on the 26th of March. So, they were there at the stadium inspecting the pitch. You can see here in your picture right now the two of them there at the stadium inspecting the pitch. So, the story says, as part of the preparations towards the double header on march 23rd 2019 at the accra sports stadium the deputy sports minister perry okujeto national sports authority boss patrick chumesi black stars coach kwisia pia managing director of the green grass technology 
were at the venue to inspect the facility. The double header will see the Black Meteors host Carbon in the AFCON under 23 qualifiers, whilst the Black Stars also take on Kenya in their final group game at the same venue on March 23rd. At different time intervals, the Meteors game at 3 pm and the Stars game at 6 pm. Now, with these two games coming up, all, at, at, all games at the Accra Sports Stadium has been postponed. I, this weekend have been postponed and they are preparing NS for this game with Kenya, Mauritania and Gabon. I think that's three games all at the Accra Sports Stadium and it has to be in top-notch shape to handle the games that will be played then and I think the Black Stars need to win emphatically. We need to beat Kenya and Mauritania and stamp our authority as we should on this AFCON 2019. I feel this could be our year but we've said that about other years. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Let me know your thoughts. AFCON 2019. How do you think Ghana will do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I move on to my next story and it's about Malmo player Kingsley Safo. If you remember Kingsley Safo on your, your shot right now, he was sentenced to prison for raping in Sweden and his teams are now fighting over his transfer fees they're asking for a refund so so many battles going on whilst the guy is in jail so the story says swedish club malmo fc are demanding for a refund of 40 million from Sirius for the transfer of Kenyan international kingsley Safo. now kingsley Safo, who is currently serving his jail term was brought by malmo in the summer of 2017 from Sirius at a fee of 14 million had his contract cancelled by the club after he was convicted. Safo was sentenced for two cases of rape against children. Malmo had reported the issue to the Swedish Football Association arbitration panel and are demanding a refund of the money from his previous club, Sirius. A report also suggests and uh, indicates that Sirius are unwilling to pay the amount. The said amount with club chairman Ovi Svoblu considering the act the chances of a negative outcome in a uh, negative outcome in this dispute as very low so it's <laughs> malmo wants a refund of the money they paid for the transfer of the player after he was convicted of rape of minors and malmo says former club serious in this case are not looking to do that at all they are not willing to do that they are holding firm to their ability they feel no they don't have to pay a dime to this guy's other club they don't have to refund the money they are holding on and they have been reported to the swedish fa the conclusions will be drawn and however it ends i'll let you guys know it's quite sad that kingsley Safo is still in jail many people were saying he was set up and all that but one thing is for claire he actually did sleep with the girls and maybe he might not have known they were minors but it's quite sad it's really a tricky spot i'm not the best judge of this and i'm really quite sad because he's Ghanaian. i'm sad about all that i'm sad he's going through all this but it's a lesson it should be a lesson to all footballers out there applying their trade be careful who you deal with there are so many predators out there there are so many people looking to bring your downfall take advantage of you and bring down all your hard work let's all be careful about this let's all be vigilant as footballers applying our trade outside the country to my final story and it's going to be about Ghanaian player Emmanuel Boateng yes Emmanuel Boateng as we all know left Levante for Delhi and Yifang and he was in town recently at in Spain watching Levante in the La Liga you can see him here in the stands in your picture right now and they lost Levante unfortunately lost that game to Real and I see him here in your picture right now he was in the stands watching his former side now the story says Emmanuel Boateng returned to the Fitat to watch his former club Levante suffer defeats to Villarreal in the Spanish La Liga on Sunday the Ghana international was due making a return to the club he left 19 days ago to Chinese club Dele and Yifan Boateng took advantage of the break in the Chinese Super League which resumes on 29th March to travel to the to the city of Valencia to watch Paco Lopez's side. He was spotted in the stands alongside official Tono and Jose Bagsoli, physiotherapist of the club. Batting was transferred for 11 million euros and was 
popular among the Levante fans especially after scoring a hat-trick against FC Barcelona so Emmanuel Boateng as we all know has been called up to the Black Stars and Chinese Super League will resume on the 29th of March so that's after the international break and he's taking his time out to watch his former club there in the stands I think it's a great gesture Manuel Boateng is a great player. I hope he does well for the Black Stars at the AFCON 2019 as well. I'm wishing him the very best. Wish him the very best. Emmanuel Boateng, 22 years, bright prospect. We hope he lives up to our expectations. So that has been it for today, guys. I've been bringing you updates on the upcoming fixtures for Ghana and the under 23 side, the Black Meteors. And also giving you updates on Kevin Prince Boateng's situation at FC Barcelona which doesn't look the best right now he's set to lead the club and it's 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 quite sad what is happening at FC Barcelona with Kevin Prince Boateng his loan move is going to end in June there's there will be no option to buy I don't think Barcelona will be interested in keeping him permanently they have really utilized him and Nesto Verde has shown lack of faith in him and it's quite clear he has to find other places to work at and also i've been bringing you exclusive updates on the malmo player former malmo player kinsley Safo, who was convicted of rape charges last year and his club malmo asking for a refund from his former club serious it's quite sad there so that has been it for today guys i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your weekend